Welcome to an introduction to accounting brought to you by Parkbench Tutors. In this podcast we are going to continue our look at depreciation and we're going to take some worked examples. So our first examples are going to be calculating depreciation using the straight line method an equal depreciation charge for each year during the useful life of the asset and the charge is based on historical cost less any potential salvage value. So here's our first example, the truck purchased for 75000 with an estimated useful life of 8 years with a salvage value at the end of £10,000. The amount being depreciated, the historical cost less the salvage value, 75000 minus 10000 gives £65,000. The useful life? Well, the useful life is given as 8 years. So we're going to divide 65,000 by 8, which will give us an answer of 8,125. So each year we're going to depreciate the truck by 8,125 pounds. Let's take a second example. Prairie Farming purchased a harvester for 144,000 pounds, which is going to be used over 12 years and at the end of the time they say the machine will have no salvage value. So that the amount to be depreciated in this case will be the full £144,000 that it cost. Why? Because there's no salvage value. So our depreciation is simply 144000 divided by 12, which will be 12000 So the harvester will be depreciated at a rate of £12,000 each year. Now let's take a slightly different example. Uh, an electric kiln is purchased for 25000 on July the 1st. The financial year starts April the 1st. So the kiln has an expected life 6 years and salvage value of 1000 at the end. Now here's the different part here. Bone and Idle use straight line depreciation. OK, that's what we're doing. But they depreciate for a part of the year in the year of purchase. So what will be the depreciation recorded in the first year? Well, the amount to depreciate is about the same sort of calculation. Historical cost minus the salvage value, 25,000 minus 1,000 is 24,000. And the part of the year remaining is nine months. So we are going to depreciate at a rate of 9 twelfths of 4,000. Remember, that it was 25,000 pounds cost 1,000 salvage value, so it was 24,000, so for each of the six years it would be 4,000, so the depreciation was 4,000 a year, and we're taking 9 twelfths of that, which will be 3,000. Okay, faster than food depreciate equipment using a reducing balance method, so here's a different method. They invest 40,000 in equipment, they intend to depreciate it at a rate of 15% per year. Okay, so the first year depreciation is 15% to 40,000, which is 6,000 pounds, so the depreciation is 6,000 pounds. What about the second year? Now, we've already depreciated for 6,000 pounds, so we've got 34,000 left, so we're only going to take the 15% as 15% of 34,000, which comes to 5,100. So at the end of year 2, depreciation is 5,100. For the next year, we'd have to subtract the 5,100 from the 34,000. That would give us 28,900. So in year 3, we are depreciating by taking 15% of 28,900 which gives us a depreciation of 4,335. Now we'll have a slightly different example. An electric company purchases 10 windmills for 250,000 and their production is in megawatts and they expect to have an output of 30,000 megawatts in the first year, 30,000 in the second, 25,000 in the third, 25,000 in the fourth and they expect to sell the windmills for 100,000. They're going to depreciate on the basis of the units of production, in other words, on their megawatts produced. So first of all, the amount to depreciate, 250,000 minus 100,000, the amount is 150,000 pounds. 
the total units of production, 30,000 plus 30,000 plus 25,000 plus 25,000, that's 110,000 megawatts. So 110,000 will be our total units of production. So in the first year, the depreciation will be 150,000 times 30,000 divided by 11,000, which comes to 40,909 pounds. Since the production of the year estimated as 30,000 megawatts, the depreciation in year 2 will be the same. In year 3, the calculation will refer to 25,000 megawatts, so the depreciation will be 150,000 times 25,000 divided by 110,000, which is 34,090. So the depreciation in year 3, 34,090. And that depreciation will be exactly the same as in year 4. So there we are, three different methods, straight line, reducing balance, and units of production. Three different ways of calculating depreciation. That ends our podcast on methods of depreciation. Brought to you by Parkbench Tutors, narrated by David Hopcroft. Thank you for watching and for listening.